this is part 3 of methods of sowing seeds now we are going to discuss hill dropping hill dropping involves sowing seeds in small raised areas that is hills rather than in a continuous row or scattered across the field the spacing between these hills is typically uniform ensuring adequate space for plant growth and development the advantages of hill dropping are uniform spacing this method promotes uniform plant spacing which can lead to better resource utilization and growth the distinct hills make weeding easier as it's easier to target weeds between the hills rather than in a continuous row. Hill dropping is particularly suitable for crops like corn, beans and squash where individual plants are spaced out. Next is seed dropping behind the plough. It is a common rural sowing method involves dropping seeds into furrows opened by a plough uh, often using a device like a malobansa, a bamboo tube with a funnel. This method is labor intensive and time consuming. It requires two people, one to handle the plough and bullocks and another to drop the seeds. As you can see in the picture, the woman is dropping the seeds and the man is handling the plough and bullocks. So this method is known for being slow and laborious. Check row planting is a method where seeds are planted in a grid pattern, ensuring uniform spacing between rows and plants, facilitating easy cultivation and weed control in both directions. The benefits of check row planting is that the grid pattern makes it easier to weed and cultivate in both directions. The uniform spacing allows sunlight to reach the bottom of the plants. The farmers can easily monitor each row and plant due to the grid pattern. Students preparing for IBPS AFO should consider subscribing to our unique initiative of 24-7 test series of Clarity. Visit our website and telegram channel for more details.